Mayor Eric Adams says he will be making changes to improve subway safety. It follows a mass shooting in a Brooklyn subway earlier this month and Monday's deadly shooting at a station in Queens. CBS 2's Elijah Westbrook live at the Bowling Green subway station in the financial district with more this morning. Elijah. Well, Chris and Mary, some subway riders are reporting that they are seeing transit cops on their phones and not being observant of the area around them. And it's now getting the attention of Mayor Eric Adams, who says he's personally seen it take place himself and is now encouraging New Yorkers to contact him when it occurs. We are going to start taking very aggressive actions to make sure police are patrolling our subway system and not patrolling their iPhone. Mayor Adams says he's seen images like these far too often. Transit cops occupied on their phones. He now wants New Yorkers to tweet him photos of it, claiming he'll go to the station the next day, taking if you see something, say something to a whole new level. You see five transit officers standing at the booth looking at their phones. We just can't continue to do that. Commuters like Kim Bonilla are also taking notice. She says she has no choice but to take the train seven days a week to Manhattan for two different jobs. Bonilla gets off just one stop before the Jamaica Center Parsons Boulevard station, where a man was fatally shot Monday afternoon following a dispute. I was just very in shock and I was very scared, not just for me, but for my family, my friends who also take transportation. Usually just standing there talking to each other. And that's what we saw a few hours later at the 34th Street station just before we met Angela Christensen. She travels between Diker Heights and Herald Square every day for her job. I rode the subways in the 80s when it was more dangerous than it is now, but I felt safer because there was there were police on every train. Now there are not. And getting more cops on the trains is another priority for Adams who rode the train as a cop. And that's when you had an officer that rode the train from the first stop to the last stop. What it does is it presents a plausible deterrent. Our cameras captured people jumping the turnstile at the Jamaica Center Station around the same time the MTA announced a new panel will look at ways to approach fare evasion, which Adams supports. We're going to identify those locations where you have rampant fare evasion. And even if the choice is not to prosecute, we're going to arrest. Now, we should mention that the MTA board is scheduled to meet at 10 o'clock this morning, where this very issue is expected to be discussed. We're live this morning in Lower Manhattan. Elijah Westbrook, CBS 2 News. Elijah, thank you.